conversation came up over here because I've seen I've seen that one. Right. And then my wife, uh, she's been going yard sale shopping and she found this cute uh, painting of the one, the two angels like sitting like this on a ledge. You can't yes. see anything. You just see their faces yes. and their hands. And she put that up over our bed go along with everything else she's putting up and then now i brought up that joke to her and then she's like you know what i don't even really want it up there anymore now <laughs> <laughs> well you know what uh you can also tell her this just tell her to look it up the full image of what that's from because do you know what they're laying their heads on no a casket <laughs> oh lord have mercy <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> i didn't even know that yeah a lot of people Is don't it michelangelo's I don't know that actually. I don't think so. I think it was newer. I can't but, wait to tell her that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, tell her because it's it's a really fun bit of trivia because they always show those angels. And one time I saw a picture, and I'm like, why does that look familiar? And I was like, oh my god, those are those angels. They have their head on a casket. It changes the yeah. whole, you know, the ones like, mm, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's a good place to go with the show actually. Yeah. what oh yeah caskets yeah. life after death perhaps but, maybe be? we should ask austin like what he's been up to really quickly and like uh what else is going on because we there's probably can grab stuff out of that too um well that's really the kind of questions i ask over on the melodon you know who are we what are we where are we where do we go after this is there an after this what is all this <laughs> you know it's these other questions uh i'm not just trying to figure things out, you know? Um, yeah, it, I remember you posting something like that. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, we all have, like, lost loved ones, right? And uh, my two parents, they're already gone. They, medical establishment, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. Um, and, um, you know, my, mom, my uh, dad's birthday was December 12th. And, you know, I, I go for a walk. And I, I rolled something up. You know, my dad, he was a pothead. That's what we did together. You know, family events, it's just what we did, you know. And his nickname was Wahoo. Uh, he was a hippie from the 70s, from that whole um, programming. <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, I just miss him. And, then, you know, I'm going for a walk, putting one in the air, thinking about him, thinking about all these memories. And I always go back to thinking about all of these souls, that all of us that we've all lost. We've all lost somebody. And throughout time, throughout all of history, all of these souls that are gone, where, if that's a thing, if, if a soul is a thing, where, where are they? Where is there a whole nother place to house all of these souls that are no longer within this realm using their, their vessels that have now expired? Or are they filtered back in here? <laughs> or is that, is that even a thing? Right. It, all of these questions still ponder, even all the information I've been gathering and looking at um, and, and then getting other people's perspectives and ideas. And, you know, because a lot of this to me is can be speculation and some people get scared of all that. And uh, like I made a comment the other day that, you know, what if you were to believe in some type of creator, but also believe that this is all there is, that there is no nothing else after that. And what I mean is like my name is Austin that was a name given to me when I was brought into this realm and growing up through all the different kinds of things that I was absorbed to um people would also say programmed to which I think everything is a sense of programming and you know want to go that route but just everything that conditioned me to be who I am today my trials tribulations blah 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 all that now my family my loved ones the ones I care about the ones that give me purpose that all creates who I am now when that flesh dies, when, when Austin is no longer, like, am, am I still Austin that still is conscious and aware that he has children and a wife that he, and a whole life that he just left and he's now at this other place? Like, I think when I'm thinking about my dad on that walk, I'm thinking, is my dad still thinking he's Bill? Still thinking he's Wahoo? And he's, he's in this other place looking for his wife, Linda, who died a few years before him. Like, because if I were to go to, you know, we grew up and we were told the church and lifestyle that, oh, you live a good life and you go to heaven, the pearly gates, live eternal life there. If I was brought to another place, say, boom, I get taken out. 
now I'm at the pearly gates and I'm in there. It's beautiful. It's all made of gold here, you know, rest in eternity forever. Right. But I'm still Austin and yo, my children aren't here. Actually, they're at that place. I just left without my guidance, without me being there. Nah, bro, send me back. How do I go back? No, no rest in peace for me. No. So how much of that goes with us? And I know, I know I'm going on with a lot, but could you going. obtain some of that with, let's say, uh, working out? Like you go to the gym, you work out that muscle. What if you work out that soul muscle or memory muscle type of thing? Like how monks meditate, you know, and maybe they can take pieces of them net to the next life. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. But all those questions haunt me. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Well, and I love talking I, about it. And that's what we've been talking about over on the Mellow Dome. I've been doing a call-in show called the Critical Thinking Smoke Sesh. And usually that's where the topic leads to. Where are we? What are we? What's next? And that kind of stuff. So I, I just want to say that there's a, there are lots of things that you made me think of as you're talking about this, um, especially when it comes to other people's experiences in these types of discussions. So we have like the topic, for example, of near-death experiences, mm -hmm. right? And people experiencing uh, almost dying or even dying, right? Their heart completely stops beating. They experience going somewhere else and being there for however long. And it may have been like here, it may have been 30 minutes, but for them, it felt like a very long time or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then they come back because for whatever reason, the doctors brought them back or, or they just came back for whatever reason. And then they live to tell that story. And some of them say like, oh, I saw my dad and he told me, hey, don't worry. Like everything's great. You, it's not your time yet to stay here, go back. And, and I love you of all, you know, even if there was like some sort of um, like dis disagreement they had before they passed, before that person passed. And let's say the son was like, I didn't feel like I said goodbye right i i feel like right. i didn't mend things with my dad and then the dad he sees his dad in his near death experience and his dad's like you're fine everything's great i love you i always did and it's going to be okay you're going to be fine you need to go back though like you're it's not your time to come here yet <laughs>